Hello everyone and welcome. So my name is Lizanne and I'm going to be guiding you through, I'm gonna to try to keep it around 10 minutes. We'll see how good I go. Uh, just a short practice that you can do morning, afternoon, or even night, just something to like stretch you out, get you moving, get you recentered. And we're gonna start standing. So most of my practices up until now, if you've been on my YouTube channel, we always start on the ground. We start with something slow. So a quicker practice, we're gonna try to sh condense what we would normally do, uh, but still get that full body sort of reconnect. So we are gonna stand at the top of our mats. We're gonna inhale and reach our arms all the way up to the sky. Big, beautiful breath in. And then as you exhale, hands are gonna come down to heart. You're gonna soften through the knees and fold all the way to the ground. Let the hands come down. Now, if your hands don't meet the earth, you can have blocks or a chair or a wall. Everything is totally okay wherever you are. Just listen to your body and your needs. Okay, next breath in. We're gonna find that halfway lift, flat back. Flat back, shoulders roll back, draw the tailbone to the back of the room like someone's reaching the crown to the front and reaching your tail to the back. Exhale and fold. You can hug the knees, let everything soften down, shake the head, yes, no, and then inhale, we're gonna rise all the way up. Reach up, look up, all the way up. Soft through the knees as you rise. And then we're gonna fold right back down. Exhale, fold it down, all the way to the ground. Inhale, let's find a halfway lift, maybe hands on shins, thighs, wall, chair, little tuck of the chin, and then exhale and fold. One more time, just like that. Inhale, rise all the way up, big breath in. Feel your feet rooted on the ground, reach towards the sky, little tuck of the tummy, exhale and fold down. Inhale, find that nice smooth halfway lift, and we'll do that Ujjayi breath. So a little constriction of the back of the throat. As you exhale, you let go of the breath through the nose. The inhale draws in through the nose as you rise all the way up. Awesome. Take hands to heart. We're going to get light through that right foot. Lift that right heel. Soften the left leg. Keep the hips balanced. Take a breath in. Bring that right knee into the belly. Now, if your balance isn't very good, maybe you should stand next to a wall so that you can have a little help here. Or you can test that balance. Then we're gonna step all the way to the back of the mat. Nice big step back. And then drop that back knee down. So we're gonna take the hip, instead of being over that back knee, we're gonna lean that hip forward. We're gonna take this front knee over that front ankle. And then we're gonna get a nice big stretch in the front of that right thigh. Lift that right arm up to the sky. Big breath in. And then exhale, lean over to the left. Take a big breath in here, long breath out. Take one more breath in, come back up to center, reach the left arm to the right, and then plant through the hands, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. And then inhale, reach and rise, big breath in. Exhale, hands through heart. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Big breath in, last time. Exhale, fold it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. And then inhale all the way to rise. Big breath in. Exhale, hands through heart. Right leg plants, left heel lifts, left heel comes into the knee. Again, look for that wall if you need it. Take a big breath in, and then nice and slow, we step it all the way back. Drop that back knee, sink the hips forward, and then left arm reaches up to the sky. Big breath in, and then lean over to the left. Feel that nice big stretch from the left knee to the left fingertips. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears here. Don't crunch up. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Next breath in, rise up. Right hand meets the left and then nice and slow, plant the hand, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, reach and rise all the way up. Exhale, hands through the heart. 
Inhale, plant through the left foot, lift that right knee, big breath in. And then we're gonna step it all the way back, warrior one. So the outer edge of that back foot plants, hips train forward, big breath in here. Exhale, hands through heart. Inhale, straighten through that front leg. Exhale, fold forward. So a little soft bend in that front knee. Keep the hips training forward. The left hip might wanna pop out here. Take a breath in and a breath out. One more breath in. One more breath out. Keep the weight in the big toe mound to keep your balance and then inhale, bend back in, rise up. Exhale, turn the toes to the long edge of the mat. So toes slightly in, soft through the knees. Take a big breath in here, look up. Exhale. You can interlace the hands behind the back if that works for you or reach for opposite elbows uh, or hands or just, I like to imagine a ball in between the hands if I don't quite have that grip or even if I'm working on my back strength. So whatever grip works for you, take a big breath and open through the heart, look up. And then exhale, pour forward. Now wherever the hands are, Maybe you're reaching for that imaginary ball or the hands are interlaced or even have a bind at the back body. This is your choice. Let the head have, hang heavy. If your head can touch the ground, draw the feet a little closer together. Keep soft through the knees. You can even take your hands to the ground if that works in your body today. Whatever feels better, your variation. Breathe here. Take one more big breath in. One more exhale. And soft through their knees, let's rise up. All the way up, reach up, look up. And then we're gonna find warrior one in the other direction. So we now bend into that right knee, that back left foot presses in, and then bring the arms up to the sky. Big breath in here. And then exhale, hands to heart. You can press the thumb mounds into your sternum, straighten through that front leg, big breath in. Exhale, pour forward, pause here. So again, just like we did in the beginning, the crown of the head is reaching and the tailbone is reaching. That right hip is pressing back, so the hips are even. And you're getting a nice big stretch to the back of that right thigh. Always an option for chair, wall, or blocks here. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Take one more big breath in, one more exhale. And then we're gonna reach and rise all the way back up to warrior one. Exhale, let's turn those toes to the long edge of the mat one more time. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna take hands to hips. We're gonna bend in through that left knee and back up through center. And then we're gonna bow the body, bend in through that right knee. Back up through center. We'll do that a few more times. Bow the body forward, bend in through that left knee. All right, let's keep alternating. Inhale up, exhale, bend. Inhale up, exhale, bend. Inhale up, last one. Exhale, bend. Take one more inhale up. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands, take the right hand to the center of the mat, soften the knees, inhale, reach the right arm, left arm up to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, plant it down, we're gonna switch. Inhale, right hand reaches to the sky, big breath in. Exhale and switch. So when you're twisting through the body, big breath in and reach, think about turning the rib cage, spinning the heart towards the sky. It's not about the neck going all the way or the gaze looking up at the ceiling. It's about twisting through the torso, getting a nice big opening through the back body, through the thoracic spine. All right, let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale down. Beautiful, and then we're gonna turn the hands to the top of the mat. Step the right foot to meet the left, forward fold. Take the feet wide, toes turn out, Malasana, a little yogi squat here. Exhale. And then we're gonna take our hands behind us or come to your tushy in whatever way that suits you best. And then we're gonna find a little figure four. So right ankle on top of the left knee and just a little rock side to side here. A little re release for the hips and then maybe we slow down the breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. 
All right, find a little stillness here, and then we'll switch. Right foot goes down, left foot goes up, same thing. You can press into the hands, get a little closer, or if this is nice and tight, you just take your foot farther away. And then little rock side to side and through the hips. Mm. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And then we're gonna take that left foot down and then you come to lying all the way down on your back. Now, depending on your time constraints here, you can stay here in Savasana for as long as you like. I invite you to breathe, to soften, to release. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. From my heart to yours, namaste.